face. Okay, so um, I'm back zoomed out of my face today because I got the camera back there. I decided to actually set it up so you know it wasn't just like a really close up of my face again. Um, words. I'm gonna speak words. Right. So I spent the last 20 minutes trying to think of what I learned today. I literally went through every class. Okay. I went through English and I went through physics and physics we just went over homework so that's nothing new um i went through health class but we learned about stis so that's not a lesson i want to teach you guys trust me you can go read up about it on the internet i'm not going to tell you um us again just review so uh just we learned nothing today math was review spanish we watched a movie nothing nothing to teach you people so I decided to teach you something that, again, is not a fact and is not at all important, but it's all I got because right now it's 11 and I need to go to bed. So, um, what I learned today is that, um, I should stop saying um, and that, uh, I don't know whether your English classes do this. In my school it happens, so I assume it happens in other schools, but I've only been in one school my entire life, so I don't know. But we ha after we read, we have to take reading quizzes. And, you know, it's just a couple of questions about what you read to see to, for the teacher to know whether, like, the kids actually read or not. But I learned today that that system is extremely flawed. I've known this for a while now, and it's been really irritating, but just today it bothered me the most. Because I had read this book. Like, I had been reading it, like, very diligently. Like, I've been finishing everything on time, and I've been, no like, I, I understand it, too, and I, like, I understand everything. And today, on one of our quizzes, there was a very specific question, okay? And it was on, like, it, it was a one-word answer, and you had to remember that exact sentence in the book to know the answer. And, like, no one in the class knew it. And, I mean, I, I'm sure there were a handful of kids who, like, actually had not read the book, and they should have been getting zeros on those quizzes, but somehow, because, like, you know, they read Spark Notes or something, they were getting, like, actual points on that quiz, which is unfair also. But, and... So they had no right to complain about not knowing that question. But, like, the kids who actually read, the point of the quiz is to see whether you read or not. So clearly it's failing at doing its job. I'm losing points when I've actually read the book. So I learned to hate reading quizzes and their very flawed system of gauging whether a kid read a book or not. Granted, there's no better system, so I guess I should stop complaining and just reread the book, I guess, before I take the quiz, or just take my loss of points. It was only three points. On my overall average, it won't be that much, but it just upsets me because I actually read the book. Alright, bye guys!